Hey guys, welcome to this second episode because uh, the last one was too long so I split it into two parts and yeah, let's see where we were. We just can switch our characters and now we want to yeah, assign those buttons so let's do this. So let's go into the designer and maybe we put in some text like or you can just leave it as blank and you can put some text you want like close one, close two or whatever. So just delete this and actually we want here only the on clicks. So let's make it on clicks here. Let's get this and let's get this one like this. So we can actually copy this one here. So let's see if we actually can get this to work. So we want to set the skeletal mesh off. Let's first do the, the close. So just type in here close. We check our close one first. So if we are in mail and put on close we can make this. And we want to uh, set the post so we see that the, the, that the post was not correct. So we want to set the post like the master component. So we uh, like the master yeah post component uh, which is actually the mesh. So connect these two together, uncheck this and let's check if it works. Yeah that's better and it said it has animations. So this works fine. So just copy this all, paste it and let's do this for the hair. Hair one, delete this, get hair reference and actually combine this together like this. And you can copy this together and we want to get our shoes. So combine this and this and here pick your shoe like this. And the last thing will be our brows. So let's scroll. There it is. So connect this, connect this, and here we need to type in brow like this. Okay, now we click on mail and we actually can completely set this up. And if we click on female, it should go away. Yeah, like this. Okay, so let's do this for the second part. So we can switch actually between those. So just make an on-click for all of these. And copy these things up like this. So and just snap this all together. Okay, here we want to get close to we want to get here to we want to get shoe to and we want to get brow to so now we should be able to actually combine here our things so we can combine these shoes together oh there's something wrong so let's look into this here is shoes, here is brow. Which button is this? This is 871, which is this one, which make brow 2, and this one makes brow 1. Looks good, looks good to me. So shoes 2, shoes 1. So let's check this again. Shoes 1, shoes 2, eyebrow 1, eyebrow 2. Yeah, these eyebrows are almost the same forgot to change them. So shoes works, hair works and suit works. Okay. So the last thing we'll do for 
the female. So here we have only one mesh for, e for each. So if you want, you can make it, uh, more of them on the same way we did it before with the yeah with the with the male one. But it will be too much time to actually show anything, and it's exactly the way. So you can do it on your own. So here we want to set skeletal mesh also from the browse like this. But now we want a female browse, of course. Copy like this. And I forgot the master post, post component, so let's get the mesh and combine this. Copy those two paste those two here, so we have them here too. Delete this, we want to get our clothes. And combine this, we want here our clothes. Copy this. Let's combine uh, everything together. Delete the clothes here and here should be so we have browse mesh and hairs. I forgot the hairs. Get here. Combine this. Combine this. Combine this. And type in here. Get the female hair. Compile, save, and now let's check. No. This didn't work here, so let's look into this. So we want to uncheck reinvert pose. So again, let's look into this. We have the female. Hmm. So I forgot something, which is uh, yeah, actually the animation. So we want here set the anim from each of these. So set anim instance class because it's actually here at uh, yeah male pp so actually set this to female one if we click on female and we copy this and paste this here in and plug this with the cloth and of course plug this in with the hairs so now if we just compile and play it should work perfectly Here is a bit of. Yeah, let's look into this, which will be here. Okay, I think I found a mistake, so just need to, yeah, cut this here out, put this here, and actually, why can't I? So just redo this, copy this, cut this, and paste it. So now. We need to do this before we actually set the anim instance so it yeah drives correctly. So now if we just compact this to this and yeah always the browse to the top and the mesh to the master, which is the master here. And you can actually uncheck these. And now if we test this, we should yeah have the normal and now it doesn't recess. So now, yeah, and okay, this works. So let's go on. Next up, we want to save uh, our actual, yeah, our actual parts of the clothes. So just make sure you have here a skeletal mesh and call this hair. And do one more, which will be clothes. And one more, which will be shoe. Compile and duplicate or create new one and make this the brow. So this will be all saved. So and on in on our character select, we all need to yeah actually set those. So we make here set the clothes. We want to set the hair so we can save those. We want to, whoops, like this, set the shoes. So we should save the shoes. And we want to set the browse so we can actually save the browse. So connect these. 
this one, get this to this, and let's get this here. So to actually save those, we have to create here some variables. So this one will be here, duplicate, call this clothes, duplicate, and call this shoes. Duplicate this one will be brow. So I show you this one time and then I will pause so you can do it on your own and it won't yeah, eat so much time. So here we have our last thing to change. Here's the hair. So we know we need to set here the hair and we can here see which mesh we set. So it's the female hair and we actually want to set this. So we search for female hair and set this. And so we also do it for the male hair. So we search here for where is it? Where is it? Here's the male hair. So we set this to male hair and we can actually see this is hair too. So we set this to hair too. So I pause here now and you can do this for all the others and I will do it too. So once you did this for all, like here, for hair, hair too, shoes, shoe too. So you always just make this like this. I make this now for these here. So let's see, this is cloth one. So I search for cloth one, like this. This is the normal hair, so I make hair. And the last two things will be shoe one and shoe two, uh, shoe one and bra one. So let's get those. Okay, after you did this to all, just plug this now here to that one. So hair, cloth, bra, and shoes. So if you did this, it will now always save your things you yeah, just picked here. So that's fine. Okay, then let's go into our third person character, into the event graph, and let's hook it here. Let's actually cast to save. We want to change our cloth. I show it once again with only the cloth, and you can then do it with all the others. So you just Pull it out, set the skeletal mesh, combine these two, and then you want to get from your save file the cloth. So you get the cloth, plug this in, and you want to set its animation because yeah, it has the male or the female animation. So this, whoops, what? You want to set the anim instance, sorry for this. I'm a bit confused. So now we have to correct and it will come from the same anim. So now if you just pick the female cloth and play, you are the female and you have the animation. So just do this with this all with the others. I will break now here. So now if you have this for all, yeah, we are actually finished. So now if we pick the male with all his things, Maybe I forgot the hair somewhere here. Where is the hair? There is the hair. Yeah, I forgot the hair to combine the hair. So get hair and just plug this in. So now if we start playing the male one, just get all of these. And now if you play, yeah, it's actually not correct. Why isn't that this correct? Let's look into this because I'm an idiot and forgot to yeah combine this with the animation. So cloth, brows, hair, and shoes. So now we just pick female, male, and we pick all hairs. And now we start. Yeah, it works. Sorry for this, but now it works. Okay fine but there is one restriction so we when we start now because we didn't select here anything yeah it actually is broken so we need to go into our character select and actually make here a branch and we need to make here a variable is 
clicked. So it should only work if anything is clicked. So we make this false by default. So we actually can click, but yeah, it does nothing. So we first need to click off one of these. So we make this on our widget switcher. So we can here set this to true once it's once it clicked. So we actually can then go on. So if we click here, nothing happens, and now we can actually play. So if it falls, we can print a string which says, please choose char first. And yeah, we're actually done. So we press this, choose a character with mixed hairs, and we want this white shoes, and she's ready to go. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions relating on this, uh, you can yeah just leave a comment below. And a small sneak peek, sneak peek what we will do with this is uh, next up I want to yeah actually make here some sliders for yeah for morph targets to make uh, the character bigger or the, the, the meshes bigger and the face uh, maybe bigger and so on. So okay. Have a nice day. Bye.